So you want to be a bike builder. So you really want to be a bike builder. Let me tell you. It involves a lot of sacrifice. Things that you would normally don't do on a regular basis, Monday through Sunday. From sun up to sundown, okay? It's not a vacation thing that you can take a vacation off when it comes down to performance, uh, energy-wise, training in the gym, um, uh, cardio, everything. It's a sacrifice. Um, and also when it comes down to bodybuilding, uh, it takes it takes a good it takes preparation. Um, so with bodybuilding, as opposed to anything that you do, it don't have to be bodybuilding. It can be rather your um, you're training for a triathlon, your um, you're training for a uh, event such as a marathon, anything like that, take uh, preparation. Uh, resting, sleeping is very important. Um, and um, resting, um, eating, and drinking a lot of water, really hydrating yourself, that takes a lot, okay? Um, and I'm actually about to work out soon, okay? So here, what I got here, I got some chicken. About about, let's say this is right around six ounces of chicken, okay? And I have some sweet potato, which is kind of like, oh, this mom, sweet potato. It's my mom's. It's really good, okay? I got some sweet potato pie. And I got that for my workout, which I'm gonna do about maybe another 45 minutes to an hour. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna eat this and let this digest, okay? And then, um, you got sweet potato on your arm. Oh man, <laughs> hey, you gotta have it, it happens sometimes, mm, yeah. So what you're saying is like, even though you're eating some sweet potato pie, which has probably has some sugar in it, it's, right. you're using it though. It's not like no. you're just eating it and then sitting down immediately after. That's, absolutely, and that's, that's, and that's another thing too. Yeah. You have to get your food timing right around your workouts, okay? Um, rather that's slow digesting carbs, fast digesting carbs, simple carbs, complex carbs, whatever the case might matter, okay? It's very pivotal when it comes down to food timing too as well. Um, I'm not the ultimate believer, believer like on like the timing part, but I do know that there's some, there's there, there's a there's a niche behind it too when it comes down to food uh, timing. It doesn't have to be 10 minutes. Oh, let me get me a protein shake. Oh, let me down it real quick. No, you have to give your body enough time to let your body kind of get back to more ground, we call it more ground zero. Then, therefore, you can do your your protein shake, you can do your fast digesting carbs, such as uh, white rice, um, uh, any type of, um, any type of fast digesting carbs, you know, for the most part. You know, I know a lot of gainers, like if you wanna gain weight, uh, you can do more uh, uh, pasta, things like that, you know, for... Some of the diet. slightly more dirty carbs, but yeah. still nutritious. Right, absolutely. So, well, so it's still nutrition, but it's still kind of dirty, but at the same time, it still is going to give you more good benefits just because uh, when you're so... Especially when you have a really good workout and you're uh, depleted with carbs, you know, in that glycogen level, I kind of want to renew it and restore it, and build it back up, um, and so you can recover and go 
back, you know, and train, continue to train the next day. So what would you say to people who think that, you know, bodybuilding is just, just work out here and there, eat kind of healthy diet and you'll get lean and be ready to step on stage. What would you say to people with that kind of mentality? Can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't probably ever eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, say like somebody's like, oh, I want to do a bodybuilding show. It's easy. All I have to do is eat healthy and work out. No, 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 no. Um, well, that's, that's not, that's not, it's a good idea to have and you want to, you want to achieve those goals. But like I said, at the same time, when you go about it, you know, it shouldn't be about, oh, I want to be a bodybuilder. I want to do this. I want to go ahead and compete and everything. It shouldn't be about that. First of all, you want to get comfortable with yourself, you know what I mean, and self being first. Then, you know, you want you kind of want to take that approach. You kind of, It's almost like you're building the foundation. Yeah, so basically you're saying like, get your dieting and working out down pat before you really fine tune it for a show. Absolutely, because there's certain, like I said, certain requirement for certain division shows, that type deal. Um, overall, um, as far as going out and do a show. Now, it's okay to do your show and just say, hey, I'm just going to do my first show. Let's get wet, get that first one on me. So, therefore, when I go back to a show, or whatever, you know, you talk to more judges, you know, at the end of the shows, and they usually tell you, hey, you need to work on this, or, you know, this, you know. It's, it can be anything. You need to build your shoulders up. Just or, getting experience. Yeah, more experience. It's okay to go in a little, you know, under knowledge, but you just got to be receptive and understand right. that you might need to work on things. Right, right, yeah. right. You have to be more open to if someone tell you, hey, you need to work on this, this and that. You need to, you know, just accept and roll out. The next day, get better. You know, that's kind of how it is, you know. So, that's pretty much it. You know, for in a, in a nutshell, it just takes a lot of sacrifice, a lot of eating the same thing, a lot of working out constantly. Basically, just prioritizing well, your workouts and your nutrition over everything. Well, here's the thing: when you do this, it's typically not a life. But if you let this consume your life, then that's where you're going to lose the value of training and having fun. It's all about having fun. When you go in the gym, you want to you want to have fun. You know, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be like 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 a like a struggle, like a job. You see what I'm saying? It should be fun. Every rep you should be doing, you should be smiling because you enjoying that rep. You see what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like you're just oh I'm here just here. Shouldn't be another day at the office. I'm, it shouldn't be another day at the office. Correct. Yeah. Um, it should be about fun. I get excited, you know, just training, you know, because it's, 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 it's fun to me, you know? Yeah, well, you become addicted to the feeling of, um, not only like, like, it sounds weird, but the pain that you experience when you're working out becomes addicting, and then the feeling after completing a workout is one of the best feelings, in my opinion. Yeah, also, that's, that's really important, too, and what brings... And that brings us back to that brings us back to the whole climax of of getting your body back rejuvenated and recovery so you can perform on the next day. So, you know, if you're training daily and you're, you know, taking in, you know, maybe pot I said maybe two or three meals. Uh, on, a, on a daily basis and, and you're training three, four, you know, relatively three to four or five days a week, that's generate, that's just not enough food because your body needs energy, you know? And um, that's another, uh, you know, that's, that's a really, uh, it's a really important factor when it comes down to nutrition and getting the proper nutrition into your muscle and your body in order for your body to recover and grow, okay? Um, but yeah, that's about, that's about right, that's about it. So you wanna be a bodybuilder, huh? It takes sacrifice, 
lots of sacrifice. Like I said, I've been doing this now for almost seven, eight years, tops, and it is sacrifice. Um, you know, a lot of you know a lot of my friends and you know they go out weekends, things like that. You know, it's okay to have fun too, but you know, there's a time and place for it. You know, especially when you got goals and you want to shoot for it. You know, sometimes you just gotta be like, you know, uh, you gotta rest and everything. You know, to recover and so you can uh, train the next day. Yep. I got some you know, sweet potatoes. Got some chicken. And by the way, it's really good too, by the way. So, that's pretty much it, you know? But, I'm going down this food and get ready for my workout. And remember guys, train hard, stay dedicated.